Hello, I'm Father Simon Peter Wancha, parochial vicar at St. Maximilian Colbert Church. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Amen. In today's One Percent Challenge, we are going to briefly reflect on the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 to 34. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the, to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of, the, of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and, they, and be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. And when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrashed his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. Is Mary your mother too? How should we relate with Mary as our mother? Many brethren of other faith find it difficult to accept Mary as our mother. Some even think Catholics adore Mary like, like a god. Mary was given to us when Jesus was hanging on the cross. Jesus told his mother, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple, he said, Behold your mother. This, this disciple represented all of us. And from that moment, Mary became our mother. If therefore Mary is our mother, we should res respect her and honor her the same way we respect and honor our earthly mothers. Mary intercedes for us before God as our, our spiritual mother. And we are therefore encouraged to, to be connected to her always and every day as our mediator and intercessor. If you enjoyed today's 1% challenge, be sure to like and share this video so that we can spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to more souls. Thank you all for joining me and may God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.